mic pointing to Mike. Welcome to Metal Manglers. Uh, we got a little post race wrap up. We raced Saturday night out of Burma Speedway in the Nomad Dwarfs of Burma Speedway class. Uh, we don't really explain it on the channel, but um, we're partners here on the channel and, and in the shop. Uh, but come race day, I take on a different role. I become the class official, and these guys are racers. Which means yeah, I mean, we get rid of them for a few hours. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I become everybody's punching bag, and they get to yell at me and everything. Yeah. You make a good one, though. Thanks. Yeah. You take it well. You got good shoulders. He's a big target. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, how was your racing? It was really good. We had a good time this weekend. Uh, we debuted a new sponsor, uh, Man Plumbing. John Jennifer Kremp, thank you for coming on board. Uh, for those who didn't know, John Kremp is my teammate. Uh, we prep his cars, and uh, we keep he drives a twenty-eight. Car. He drives, yeah, he drives a twenty-eight. 28. This kind of body, yep. And um, he, they, they came on board, and we're teammates, and our cars are identical except for the body style. Mm -hmm. Speaking um, of bodies, where'd you get where'd, where'd you get that body? Oh, um, from uh, some guy. Some guy came by and <laughs> gave us a hand and kind of cut it and bent yeah. it. And, and, I put in a lot of work doing it. He didn't get any job. stitches though. Yeah, I made some pretty flowers though. Yes, you did. I don't. I don't want to see the sheet alone for a while. So, <laughs> uh, but our heat, we did. We did pretty good in the heat. We started what fifth in the heat. Yeah, fifth in the heat. Finished uh, second. And I did pretty good on the setup. Robert like you were able to place it where you wanted it. And Robert Peters won. won. Uh, Robert Peters debuted his car again yeah. after he gave him tour on the track. So uh, he they put won. a bunch of money in it. Won his heat. Uh, did real good this weekend. So he Carl looked good. Chad looked good. He had a soft opening and then a grand opening with a new sponsor in your paint scheme. Yeah, 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 yeah pretty much. And Carl looked good for the amount of damage that car had. Yeah, really. Uh, uh, I mean, I went to B and B. Did a real good job getting that car back together for it to come out with not the new bug jitters. Yeah, they did a great job getting that car lined back out and put back together. And then uh, I got looked at a little bit for my uh, one of my starts. I, I, I mean, people don't know what I I actually have. Uh, Robert Chavez, I've got him figured out. Or, and he's our flagman. He's yeah. our flagman. He's got a tell, and I'm, I've yeah. got to figure out what he does. And He'll be excited to hear that. Yeah, and uh, I, I kind of nailed the starts pretty good with him. And so they, they kind of looked at me on this one. It was, it was pretty close. He, he, his, his tell is getting just a little bit worse, and I think, I, I think he's uh, it's a lot of fun. I don't <laughs> want to hear anything when I call you for a jump start. Ah, you know what? I'd rather I'd rather get called once or twice a year for a jump start than be so far behind that they're pulling me three car lengths down the straightaway. But no, we did we did good. Uh, Yildu put a pr pretty decent setup on the car for the heat. Uh, mm -hmm. We could come off the turn like a monster. Um, oh, you've been begging for bite. I've been begging for bite, and then the main came up. Yeah. Where'd you start? Where'd you start in the main? I started fifth. Um, yeah, yeah, we got a pretty decent start position for the main. Yeah, where did we finish? And, uh, well, we'll get to that, though, Cinderella. I can tell you right now, it wasn't fifth. No, it wasn't. That, that is true. We did not finish where we started. No, we did not. Did but we? we didn't go the direction we were supposed to. Exactly. Yeah. Kind of, I've, I've, I've heard through racing that the idea is to go forward. Oh, crap. That's what I forgot to tell you before we went out there. See, go beat you guys in front of you, not hang out with your friends in the back. That's just a, yeah. that's just a pro tip. Hmm. Why did, why we'll work we on that. Forward? We'll work on that. Why couldn't we go forward? Well, you know. The driver can only do so much. You know, most drivers say they can drive whatever setup, doesn't matter. But they're full of caca. You gotta have a decent setup to be able to drive forward. And we got a new dirt at Verona this year. Uh, Fast Track Enterprise has been putting a lot of money into the track this year, doing a lot of improvements. One of which was new dirt, which I'm still trying to learn how it's acting with temperature and moisture and through how many heats it'll last before it starts blueing up or slicking off. and. In. Eh, you screwed up. So, on to the race. <laughs> yeah. I set him up a little too tight. Little. little. So he, he's exaggerating like everything else. Yeah. I was carrying the left front this far off the turn with so much bite. Yeah. No, no exaggeration. It was more like this. Yeah. yeah. Just a little. It only looks really Well, I will say this, and they so, are going to argue this. It felt like God himself picked the front end of the car up and moved it over. God what? Gave God. you the bite you wanted. <laughs> God, God doesn't get your race car with you. God, God doesn't care who he's racing. <laughs> so, uh, you started fifth and uh, promptly started moving backwards. Promptly, very quickly. Yes, yes, right, right off the green flag. Yeah, like going into turn one, I'm like, well, we're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to hop in going back for that. He's going to have a good conversation so, at the end of the night. <laughs> spoiler alert, he finished fifth. No, I finished no, sixth. Finished sixth. I'm sorry, started fifth, finished sixth. Six. I stand corrected. Sixth. Um, six. 
and a lot of good good races, some good hard racing in yeah, some cases. A lot of hard racing. Uh, that uh, Darren Brown guy is pretty fast. Wow, he's well, fast. Him and his dad. They yeah, got yeah. something figured out with these dwarf cars between his ability to drive and his dad's ability to set up and then their crew guys making sure that car's ready every week. And there's been lots of talk about they're cheating through shocks and they're running E85 fuel. Cheater motors. Cheater motors and anything else. It's my job to catch that stuff. I haven't seen a single indication that there's anything at all remotely illegal about that car. The, the guy can drive. Yeah. Let's just call it what it is. The kid's got to, the, not kids, He's not the, kid. the young man, He's a grown man has talent. I mean, he has raw talent, and and I hate. I, I like being before. It. I like being behind, you know, following him. I'd rather be in front of him. But my God, man, it's just to watch him drive a car. I jeez, it just it's yeah, amazing. You, you don't get to watch very long. Cause he starts getting smaller. Yeah, he does. Which you know, and it's gone. But no, the, <laughs> the guy's got just raw talent. He's phenomenally fast. Him and his crew, they, they got it figured out. He's got stupid amounts of talent. It doesn't matter if we're at our home track in Verona, which he just has dialed, or even when we're travel racing. I mean, he's still got very, that guy. very infrequently does do they miss a setup where he's not able to, wait to drive around the setup yeah. and be well, in the top five. When, when we go to nationals, I sit down and I watch him. I go up and specifically watch the mm -hmm. main events. Yeah, because in still nationals, watch him. in nationals, Phil runs in the veteran class. So Old guy. And, and, yeah. And Darren runs in the, in the pro class. And, which I'm glad because it means I don't have to race against him. Well, hell, I watch him at national and go, nah, I'll, I'll just be a crew chief. I don't need to drive in that class. So the uh, he was fast. Mm -hmm. um, John Zabella was John fast. John Zabella was fast. Michael Tobiasen was very fast. Peters was fast. Peters was, really fast. Peters was fast. I think he finished in third. His, in his, his new re grand opening. Yeah, re grand opening with ASI sponsor in his car. They sponsor the track, they sponsor the class. Yeah. Along yeah. with uh, they, Express Pipe and Supply helping the class out. ASI put some extra money into the purse this mm -hmm. year uh, for all the dwarf yeah. racers. And uh, Express Pipe and Supply sponsors the Hard Charger Award, which is won by John Isabella. John Isabella. Mm -hmm. 14th to 4th. Pretty, wow. impressive, pretty impressive drive. Yeah. Especially on the track. Impressive driver, too. I mean, that guy can drive. He's another one that's got just stupid amounts of talent. Okay. Stupid uh, talent. There was a point where somebody just forgot to watch flags. Yeah. You know, that. There's a flagman up there that you were talking about. He has a tell. He also says other things throughout the race. Yeah, I know he yeah, they the beginning and they wave end. this. Uh, they wave this flag that doesn't have anything on it. It's it's all white. Well, he only cares if it's black. But yeah. wait a minute! If a car is spinning out in front of you, and you're watching the car spinning out in front of you, multitask, my friend. Multitask. I've only got two eyes. I was yeah, watching the 12, the 91. I was watching the 86. I can't watch the car. So excuses. The checkered <laughs> flag came out, and. Uh, People slowed down almost like the race was over. This guy. Except for one person. I'm not going to say any names, but it was this guy here. He got into the 91 pretty good. Yeah. Uh, sorry, yeah. Ryan. I, I, I apologize for that. And then gained like three or four more. <laughs> Woohoo! But still didn't catch Darren. Still didn't catch the leader. <laughs> I'm running the hard. To, yeah. Wow. So, all in all, good, good hard racing um, and a great night race. We had 19 cars registered, but then John Crimp. Uh, was under the weather and, and couldn't yeah. couldn't re answer the bell, so he didn't race. So we ended up having 18 race, 18 cars for the main event. Great car turn. Uh, track conditions were pretty good. There was a decent rut down in three and four. There was throwing some people uh, some curved balls, but everyone seemed to drive around it pretty well. Um, so we'll be racing out at Brona again in two weeks. Um, the Mike Corning thing at the beginning mm -hmm. uh, was to a, a fellow racer, a modified driver who lost his life after a hard hard. Roll over a barrel roll at Coca Pos Bay. And uh, his father, Larry Corning, and my father raced together and were friends up at Santa Maria Speedway uh, when my dad was still alive. And uh, props to Larry Corning. He came out and got in a race car mm -hmm. uh, with the 44 on the side. He borrowed someone else's race car. Along with about eight other cars. I yeah. four. The 44 right. won, the 44 took They're second, right. the 44 passed the 44, the 44 side, the 44. A bunch of racers paid tribute uh, to Mike Corning by putting his number on the side of their car. It's a good thing we ran transponders. I don't know how they sorted the line. I would never have been able to. I don't know whose idea that was, uh, but it was a great idea. I think it started with one team of four cars and just blossomed from there. Yeah. They're like, we don't care the position. No. You know, it's for Mike. Uh, uh, you know, moral, moral of that story, and his father Larry said this to the driver: we check your safety. Mm -hmm. yeah. Get all get all the safety equipment you can in that car, and get all the safety gear on your personal self. To keep a tragedy like that from happening, he's, he'll be missed. 
Uh, there is a GoFundMe to help pay for funeral expenses and other expenses that the family has. I'll put a link down in the description for that. Please give what you can. They don't have any insurance or anything like that. It's all out-of-pocket expenses. And I figured it was thrown out it was fifteen thousand dollars for funeral. Just for the burial, just for the funeral expenses. Not including muscle work and bills and all that. Please, please help where you can. Uh, again, link in the description. Well, you know, and the, and the other thing with that is, is we're racers. We're we're all very hard competitors, and you know, there's rivalries at the track. Um, guys, really, I don't think there's any driver out there that would want to hurt any other driver, or, or it, it, it hurts us as drivers when we lose. A racer when we lose a family member I mean it's it we're a dysfunctional family to race cars race car drivers you know um, we may fight amongst ourselves but don't ever go in between us you know because we'll all come back at you it's just it's horrible when you, when you lose a when you lose a racer it's just it's one of the worst feelings in the world so again to Mike and Larry, Larry and the rest, Larry. Of, the rest of the fight click that bell hit the subscribe share with your friends how us grow this channel Thank you, thank you for watching. Thank you for everything you do. We appreciate your support of the Middle English Channel. Uh, as you can see, the Gen 3 is still behind us. We're waiting for powder coat. We need the differential to come back. Hey, Kevin Patterson, if you're watching, uh, could you get us the differential back? We appreciate it. Yeah, we need to get this one done. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Take care. John Harris, one of the dwarf car racers here at Burroughs Speedway. How's your car tonight, John? It's gonna win. It's gonna win. It's gonna win. Why do you think you're gonna win and Ryan's not? Because Ryan can't drive. Ryan can't. Ryan O'Connor can't drive. You heard it here for, first, folks. Yep. Let's go get a rebuttal. <laughs> Ryan O'Connor. John Harris says you can't drive. How many wins you got, John? Uh, oh, he first. had he he had he to raced, go there. How many wins you got, Ryan? Uh, quite a few. So quite a few and three. How, three. Heat yeah, races. Two heat races and a semi. How many tires have you killed, John? No, no, no. Well, it depends on who hits me. Tractor tires in the infield. How many times have you hit? Why them? you gotta bring up painful memories? That's not right, Raz. See, this is how it goes here at the track, folks.